watching out for you. This is KZI 9 News at 11. A break in the case of an apparent hit and run crash that killed a man near Dorena Lake this weekend. Thank you for staying up with us tonight. I'm Brian Richardson. The medical examiner determined the man was lying in the road, not standing up when he was hit. Oregon State Police says it had found the body of 39 year old Reuben or Saturday night in the 35,000 block of Shoreview Drive. Troopers initially thought it was a hit and run accident, but a woman called Sunday saying she thought that she hit a deer as she was driving that night. OSP says she is cooperating with investigators. Now, as these details continue to unfold, the mourning process begins. KEZI 9 News reporter Sarah Hurwitz talked with Orr's friend and brother. She is now live in the studio with our top story here at 11. Sarah. Well, tonight I caught up with Ruben Orr's brother, who says that Ruben was hitchhiking his way home Saturday night. He's left a cross as a marker and a tribute to his older brother, who died not even a mile from his home. Digging a hole to pay tribute to where his brother took his last breath. I don't think I even believe it yet. Like, really, it hasn't sunk in. Leaving his mark alongside remnants of Saturday's crash. Kind of want to, you know, let people know, because a lot of people know him here, who it was and where it was. So, you know, people don't forget about him. Michael Orr, Reuben Orr's brother, says Reuben was hitchhiking his way home Saturday night on this road, the same road he lives on, only less than a mile from his house. I realized it then, but it was like a disbelief thing, like, no, maybe, nah, maybe it wasn't him. My sister, Carrie Liddell, she had left our house about 10 o'clock and they had passed him and she told her husband to turn around because she thought there was a body in the middle of the road. But it was Reuben. Friends who knew him found him lying in the road. She said she could hear the sirens of the ambulance when he took his last breath. Oregon State Police are still trying to piece together what happened. It sent a shockwave throughout the Dorena community, taking away a friend and father. We love you and miss you and wish you were still here with us and a brother. Well, I'm sorry that he was so close and that, um, that I didn't get to pick him up in town and give him a ride home. Now, Michael says that he also lost his sister in a drunk driving accident about 10 years ago. No word yet on a memorial plan for Reuben, but friends and family are in the process of setting up a fund, fund me account to help with expenses. Live in the studio, Sarah Hurwitz, KEZI 9 News.